I'm Nancy Seiler. For today's Ask Nancy, we've got a decorating expert from Wilton who's going to show you some great, fun project ideas. Wilton just released their 2012 yearbook, and it's full of sweet celebrations. Hi, I'm Angie Thayer, and I'm so excited to give you a sneak peek about what's inside this year's edition. There are over 200 projects covering holidays and events throughout the year, from Valentine's Day to Christmas, weddings, baby showers, and first birthdays. Plus, there's a special section on our new program, Punch, Cut, Decorate. All the projects are good for anybody at a beginning level to an advanced level. So there's definitely a treat for you to make from inside this edition. Now that I've talked about the yearbook a little bit, let's start looking at some of the projects that you might find. This is one of my favorite cakes in the 2012 book. Of course, it's the cover cake, but it looks so elaborate it does look difficult, but if you break it down into components, it's not that bad. Like these lollipops, they're made out of fondant, and what you do is roll two different colors, three different colors, whatever you'd like, and roll them into logs about the same length, like I've done here. Attach the two pieces together, and then bring back to when you were a kid and you were braiding everybody's hair, and then what you'll do is you'll braid them like this, and then attach the pieces again, and then you'll want to roll it just like this in your hands. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it takes a little bit longer. But as you do it, then you're going to curl it just like this, like a sucker. Okay? So obviously mine's a little bit not as nice as that because I didn't do all the rolling. But do you get the idea? You'll also find Halloween projects. Like I said, it covers items throughout the year. Here I have some candy eyeball molds. Your kids will love this at Halloween. And what you want to do is take some melted candy melts and you put these in a disposable decorating bag, microwave them at half power for one minute, and then at 30 second intervals until it's completely melted. With the eyeballs, you can do them all one color, or you'll see that there's the pupil, which is what I'm going to do right now, and you fill it with the black candy melt. You can also paint this just like that. And I'll do another one to give you an example. Okay. Then tap it. Once you've filled out your mold, tap it so all the air bubbles are out. This dries pretty quickly because it's a small amount of candy melts. So once it's dried in about two minutes, take your next color. I'm going to use spooky green. And again, again, cut the tip off your disposable decorating bag like I'm doing here. And you're going to do the color, so the iris of the eye, just like I'm going to do right here. Sometimes your candy gets a little you know, dry at the tip because there's less of it. So just rub it a little bit, and your, the heat of your hand will get it out. And again, I'm going to use it on this one. And then, just like I did with the black, you're going to want to tap it to get all the air bubbles out. Let it harden again for a couple of minutes. And then take your white icing. Cut the tip off of that. Now with the white, not only are you going to cover the other colors that you did, but you're also going to color the other half. Because this eyeball comes in two pieces. So there's a good example. Tap it. Once it's hardened, like we've done, It'll come in two pieces like this. What you can do is take some white icing, or white uh, candy melts, excuse me, add a little bit there so you can put them together, and then let them sit for a little bit. Don't touch them, but when you let them sit, they'll harden together, and they'll come out just like this. And you can do any color you'd like. Like I said, the kids are going to love this. Do it for their Halloween party. And then we have Easter, and I want to show you how to make these adorable cupcakes. What you're going to do is take some decorated, colored decorating icing, put it in a disposable decorating bag with tip 233. And this is a pull-out grass, so it looks really great. I'm going to put some Jordan almonds on top of this as soon as I'm done. I'm only going to do half the cupcake because you can see the full cake cupcake up on top of dis the display here. You just squeeze and pull up, squeeze and pull up, just like that. And then when you finish the whole top of the cupcake, what you will do is take a Jordan almond and attach it to the icing. 
just like I've done here. This is just a teaser as to what you're going to find in the yearbook this year. You will be amazed at your end result, so go check it out.